Hey guys, it's Agosti Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with the AR Foundation and I'm going to be answering a question and also showing you how to fix an issue that many of you reported with AR Foundation 4.0.8 and also why it's not working with URP. So I want to make sure that you follow me through the entire process because I'm going to show you what you need to do in Unity to make it work. I'm also going to be submitting the code for this video in GitHub so you guys can check it out just to make sure that you can compare that with your own project. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the latest version of Unity, which is 2020.1.4F1. And then we're going to be using the 3D template. I don't want to use this one because I want to show you what you need to do in order, in order for you to get the URP working. So I'm going to just call this one, we can just call it AR URP demo. And then let's just put it in a directory, click on create. And then we we'll just wait until the project gets created. All right, so it looks like the project got created. So the next thing that I wanna do is we're gonna go into window and then package manager. And things are gonna look a little bit different because we're using the latest version of Unity, but I'm trying to get used to it. So hopefully you'll get used to it with me as well. We're gonna change this from packages in project to Unity registry. This is what's going to show you all the different packages that Unity provides. I'm also going to be downloading AR Foundation, so let's go ahead and get that going. The one that we're going to need is going to be this version, and this is the one that you guys have been having issues with, so I want to make sure that you install 4.0.8 just to make sure that we, you know, we correct any issues that you, may, you might be finding by downloading that version. I know some of you were having issues with like a black screen and it wasn't showing anything, so hopefully this will help you. And then the other thing that I also need is I'm going to be using ARKit. So in your case, if you want to use ARCore, you can do that as well, but I'm going to be using ARKit. And then I'm going to use the same version of ARKit XR plugin. Click on install. And then after this is done, I'm going to be installing the URP, the universal rendering pipeline. And I'm going to be using the one that is verified for this version of Unity. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and just search for URP. If it doesn't find that, we can just do universal. And then it's gonna it's gonna find it that way. And then the one that is verified, it's gonna be a that two that zero. Let's go ahead and install that. And just give it a few seconds, and we'll just move on as soon as this is done. Okay, so it looks like this is done installing. So the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is let's go ahead and create a new folder. And that folder it's going to be called we'll just call it rendering. Then instead of that folder, I'm going to be creating the pipeline. And we're going to go into Create Rendering, Universal Rendering Pipeline, a pipeline asset. And I'm going to use just the name that Unity provides. Then if we go to the second file, which is the actual render asset, you're going to see that you have a few options in here. The ones that we're going to be creating is going to be a render feature. And the render feature that we're going to be using is going to be the AR background render feature. Make sure you click on that. Once you get that going, then we're going to go into Edit. And under Edit, we're going to go into Project Settings. Project settings, let's go ahead and expand this so that we can see everything. We're going to do a couple of things in here. I'm going to go into my graphics, and we're going to be selecting the actual pipeline asset that I created. And then now that we have that going, I also need to, need to go to XR Plugin Management. And I haven't changed the platform yet, so let's go ahead and do that before I go and change this setting. Now let's go ahead and go into File, Build Settings, and then I'm going to change this to... Again, if you're using Android, change it to Android. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use iOS, so change it to iOS. And then I'll just click on Switch Platform. It'll just take a few seconds to switch. Okay, so it looks like this is done switching. Let's go ahead and go back into Player Settings. And also, let's go ahead and add the current scene to the open scenes because we're going to be building that next. I'm going to close the build settings for now. Then on the plugin management, if you had AR Core, you would select that. In my case, it's going to be AR Kit. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then if you click on ARK, you're going to see that you're going to have a file here and also a requirement. I never changed that. I think that by default, it's going to work just fine. And then the other thing that we need to do, let's go ahead and go into Player. And under Player, we're going to leave everything default. I don't need to make any changes. We're going to be focusing on other settings. And a couple of things that we need to do for ARK are going to be that we need to require ARK support. So I'm going to be setting that. As soon as you set that, this is going to be populated automatically. This is going to be a requirement because we're going to be using the camera, so that needs to be populated. And then I think that's everything that we need to do here. Normally, change the name and also the company. I don't think we need to do anything like that for this. 
Okay, so I think that's everything we need to, to do. We also have the XR plugin management set. We also have the graphics, which is gonna tell the rendering that we're gonna be using the universal rendering pipeline. So we can close out of that. So now that we have that going, I'm going to be adding a couple of components. I'm gonna remove this camera because this camera is not gonna be an AR camera. And then I'm gonna go into right clicking here and then go into XR. We're gonna need an AR session origin that's going to be adding the camera in there. I'm also going to need an AR session. So let's go ahead and go back and then just add an AR session. Now if we look in here and we look at the AR camera, let me just make sure that everything is set correctly. So if you look at if you look at this, it's gonna have an AR camera background. That's it's going to be automatically set for you. And then if we look at projection, I'm just gonna double check a couple settings just to make sure that we have that we have everything. So that looks right, environment looks right, output looks right, and then a stack looks right. So I think we have everything here. This by default is going to be adding the default render. You can also change it to zero if you wanna make sure that that's the one that you want to select. This is just if you had multiple, you can just you know select which rendering to rendering asset to use. I'm gonna just do zero. And then I think that's everything that we need to do there. Let's go into the the actual file here, which is going to be the asset. And I'm gonna check a couple of things. So the under general, we wanna make sure the rendering list is set. Dev texture, opaque texture, I think I can just leave those by default. I'm gonna be enabling HDR and I'm gonna show you why that is in just a minute. So we're gonna be leaving that. And anti-aliasing, I don't need it for now. I think this is all okay. Shadows, I think it's all okay. I think normally on shadow distance, they set it to something like five because we're dealing with meters. And if we do 50 meters, we're not gonna see the shadows. And then I think everything else, everything else is okay here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back into my AR session origin. And we're gonna be adding a new component here. So the component that I wanna add is going to be the AR environment prop manager. Let's make sure we have that set. And the reason why I enable HDR is because we want these textures to be, the ones that are returned are gonna be the HDR texture. So I want to have that enabled. And I'm telling the, the rendering pipeline that we're, we're gonna be using HDR as well. So there's a couple of settings in here. This one is gonna be looking a little more kind of like square, like it's lower resolution. This is gonna be average, average pixels. So it's gonna look a little bit better in tree linear it's gonna look a lot better on the textures that we have on the actual reflections. So I think that looks fine. Now what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and create a new material. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a material. This is gonna be the material that we're going to be creating for the sphere. So I'm just gonna call it, we can just call it a sphere. I think it's fine. Uh, let's just call it default, I think it's okay. And then I'm gonna add that and put it under a folder. So materials. It's always good to do that. And we can just add it to the assets folder. Now we can go back here I'm gonna drag it and drop it. It's gonna be our ref default material. Or we can just call it something more, more explicit, so reflection. And I don't, wanna, I don't wanna have to rename it later, so I think, I think that's fine. And then metallic, we're gonna go all the way up. And then smoothness, I'm also going to go all the way up, all the way up, because I want this to basically do, be a reflective material. We're gonna be using a reflection probe, and it's actually gonna be using the AR Environment Probe Manager. It's gonna get reflections from the real world, and then we're gonna be casting those. The, tricks, the trick here is that I wanna make sure that this is gonna be rendering in URP, because I know a lot of you were having issues with this, so let's make sure that it's gonna work. Then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new sphere, and this one we're gonna be putting, remember, try to put everything, any, any 3D objects inside of the AR session origin, but it's always good practice. And then we're gonna be doing 0 0.3, 0 0.3, because this is gonna be meters. So we wanna make sure we can see, we can see the sphere. And it's not, it's not also giant. And let me go ahead and offset the position on the Z so we can have it in front of us. And it's gonna be something, I think something like that works. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the material. And it's gonna look black for now, but it's going to, it's going to look better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, before I proceed, I'm gonna create a new folder. And let me make sure that I start, you know, organizing everything. This is always good practice. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click here, drag this sphere, and then we're just gonna be creating prefab so that everything, you know, everything is organized. Okay, so we're gonna have that sphere right there. And then maybe on the gizmos, 
Let's go ahead and make these gizmos a little smaller so they're not gigantic. Okay, so the other thing that I'm gonna do is maybe we can just have another one right over here and we can just offset that by negative, let's see, 0.5, I think it's fine. And then we'll just have another one on the right. So just change that to be a positive number. And then we can perhaps just add another one, just offset it a little bit up and we'll just do 0.5 on the Y axis. And then we'll just offset it as zero. So we're gonna be doing something something like that, I think. It, I think it works. Okay, so now that we have those, and those should be looking okay once we once we put that in, in a bill. And I'm gonna show you how that looks as soon as I get this bill. So that's everything that we need to do in order for this to work. The way this is gonna work, the AI environment probe is gonna be casting reflections from the real world. That information is gonna be coming into Unity from ARKit, and then ARKit and Unity through bindings and all the magic that they do, it's going to be applying textures to these that are, are, are gonna be looking realistic. So, and then the trick again is make sure this is gonna be rendering in URP. So, now what we need to do is we need to build this, right? So let's go ahead and go into build settings. And then if everything, everything is set up correctly and I didn't miss a step, this, is, this should work. And I'm gonna be putting this on my desktop. And this one we can just call it AR URP demo. And we can just put it in my desktop again. Hit save and it's gonna basically create an Xcode project. And I'm gonna show you how it looks as soon as this is done building. All right guys, so this is finished building and we're now getting our pop-up just to make sure that we give access to the camera. And then you're gonna see that it's, at the beginning, it's going to take a little bit of time to generate the textures. You guys can see that everything is working. And again, this is using URP, so we know that URP is, you know, working with the, the actual AR, you know, pro manager. And you guys can see how everything is looking. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. And I'm also standing up just so we can see that the actual textures on the spheres are getting regenerated. And there's something that I want to look into and that is how frequently these ones get generated. I'm going to be looking into making a new video, but that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you how to do. If you guys have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys.